And outside of Derek Jeter in New York, those two guys as both being the captains of, you know, storybook franchises, jewel franchises that Jeff Passan would use in their respective sports, they did that to perfection. I mean, once I heard on High Noon yesterday, Bamani, I think it was Bamani Jones say that he was a less be man, be he, money. He was less cool, Derek Jeter. Yeah, like that's what Eli was. <laughs> they operated in basically the same ways. You didn't hear much about their personal lives. They helped lead their teams to champions. Derek Jeter may have a little more claim to being one of the better players all time than Eli does at their given positions. I know we said Derek Jeter, probably around maybe the fourth best shortstop you can think of all time, as opposed to Eli, who isn't <laughs> sniffing any of those top five, no. top ten conversations when it comes to the best quarterbacks. Obviously, some of the long-range, you know, mass statistical categories that don't, you know, factor in game-by-game game or play-by-play, play, et cetera, will favor pretty well for and, him. And look, look, look how his career started <laughs> In kind of a class way. You remember who the quarterback was when he was when he went to the Giants? It's Kurt, Kurt Warner. Warner. And Kurt Warner played, and, and Kurt Warner, they brought Eli in, and then there was a thought of going back to Kurt Warner, correct? And yes. Kurt Warner told them, no, yeah. let him stay in there. He needs to stay in there. I mean, think about that. And Kurt Warner is one of the classiest guys around correct. as well. And then he ends up going, obviously, to Arizona from there. But, but to say, no, 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 leave him in, it'll start the Eli Manning era. You know, and then we saw this guy – Understand, he got benched by by McAdoo. He he didn't he didn't miss he didn't miss a game. Two hundred thirty six games, not one game, not one game because of injury. And he got benched. He got benched, he got benched by an organization. Well, he right, got, right, there's right. no way Ben's making that move. Either way, but either yeah, way, right. I guess this yeah. is the wild thing too. Is he got benched? It wasn't a situation where you had yet a Daniel Jones waiting. Exactly right. He got benched for Geno Smith that right, year. Like yeah. he got benched to try anything else. In that regard, and that's no slight to Geno Smith, but he was not a guy the organization had a bunch of capital. There was in zero or, reason to do it. There was zero outcry zero to reason. do it, but there was obviously struggles at the time. Like you have to wonder, like that did a lot, I think, for Eli Manning's Q rating come of all, coming off that though. Right. A just the na- the nature of how much heat McAdoo and the organization took for it, but it really put Eli back in a position where he had been struggling a lot leading up to that, and I think it made him a very favorable figure again. Not to say he owes them anything, right, but right. the way that situation went down, I think gave Eli that, and honestly, being a backup this year, like him coming back that last home game, those last couple instances we got to see him, like people loved that stuff because. Everyone loves a backup, like yeah. no matter what shape or form you come to it. And we all love backup quarterbacks. And he got the ultimate curtain call, which was very cool. One last time at, you know, to borrow from Hamilton, one last time. Oh, boy. There we go. Uh, you know, he got to be on that stage at home and come away with a win. <laughs> Eli Manning and Peyton Manning made $500 million between them. I need, We need to look yeah. now and see Archie Manning had a long career. Oh, hold on. How, how much did Archie make? Not that much. But you're oh, going to love <laughs> you this. Think? Archie, Archie texted me yesterday. Yeah. You ready? This, this, Humble this, brag. This, yeah, fair. Yeah. Uh, this was his text. <laughs> Saw your tweet on dollars. Funny. Took them off allowance in the early 2000s, but why am I still picking up dinner? How about that, that was my question, in all honesty, is when they go out to dinner, who picks up the tab? Yeah. Like, well, sadly, Archie is. Yeah, I, it sounds like Archie I still told is. Archie we're having Peyton on. He'll be on in an hour. I'm going to tell him, no, no, no. You guys are picking up dinner for mom and dad oh, right now. Oh, my. The you picking up dinner. You guys picking are picking up, up dinner. It's good to know I can hold on to that one for life. Exactly right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.